Hey guys, this is Chris, the Techie Team here, back with a, another video, this time reviewing my uh, Sidekick 4G after, I think, quite a long review time, review period. I've had this uh, since July 2011, I got it refurbished for like 300 bucks, so I thought it was a pretty good deal with the displays and specs that it had, plus the keyboard, which some say is one of the best in the business. Um... And right now I have kind of a wishful theme on ice cream sandwich. Um, just because I like how it looks. And then kind of a another fun thing is my background is one of the presets for Mac OS X Lion that's out. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, I have had mixed feelings about this phone in the past. Um, I got it and then it, sometimes it just would stop working like the touch screen wouldn't work or um it wouldn't awake from sleep or whatever and thankfully uh samsung and t-mobile have issued um have issued some updates to fix various things and thankfully that's one of the things that's been fixed um since the last couple updates i've had very less of the shutting down and unresponsiveness of this phone. Um, and just to start start with a hardware tour um, before I get into the software. On this side you have a volume button um, and a up and down and then your headphone jack 3.5 millimeter. Um, on the top you don't really have much. Um, on this side of the device you have your charging door, your camera shutter button this camera shut button, it's always nice to have one of those because um, I know for me, I don't like using the on-screen controls to take your pictures. Sometimes the phone will be wobbling around and I'll be trying to get the right picture. But here, just hold the phone stationary. Take a nice picture. So, and then on the back you have a 3 megapixel camera which I thought was not very good. I'm most, one of my gripes with the device is that it only had a 3 megapixel camera with no flash which doesn't take very good photo, videos and photos. Thankfully I have the camera that I'm filming with right now uh, the Canon PowerShot of 300HS which does 10, 20 tons times better with that and then if you can see it there is a speaker girl, which I think it actually has a nice speaker. Um, I use it to listen to Pandora or uh, YouTube videos or anything like that. That's what I use a speaker for. Um, so getting back into the software here, I said I told you before that I had a Mac OS 10 line background and ice cream sandwich style launcher. Um, but here um, I got a few apps. These are the ones I use m most of the time. Uh, YouTube. Uh, Gmail, email, messaging, maps, market, calendar, that type of thing. And then I have my Google Music widget and Power Control widget. Um, and then here are just some of the apps that I use, like Engadget, Amazon, Best Buy, um, iHeartRadio, VLC down on the bottom. Um, so yeah. Um, then here I just have some other stuff like some... Uh, music stuff, social networks, networking stuff, and then here's my games. Uh, there's actually only one game that I've actually paid for on here. Um, where is it? Um, it's Need for Speed, which I don't even know is actually on my home screen. But anyway, there you go. Um. Let's see what else. So yeah, that's basically my software that I have on my home screen. And then here I could just scroll through my list of apps. Um, I think if we go into the market, I have like... Um, go into my apps here. And I think I have, yep, around 80, 77 to be exact. Um, and then as you can see too, I have a new Android market on here. I actually haven't bought much music and anything else with it yet. 
I mean, you may just use it for apps, mainly free apps, because I'm kind of a cheap guy. But, um, so there's that. Um, so, so, some of the other gripes I have with the device besides its random shutting down is it's now not the fastest device. Um, I, I'm a techie guy, so I kind of like, um, the dual core processors and, um, the big QHD screens and all that, but, when I first got my device, um, it was reasonably priced, had most of what I was looking for, so that's kind of something I knew would come with it. Um, so I guess it's not a horrible thing, but uh, let's see, any other gripes? I don't believe so, mainly just that now with the new technology it's outdated. Um, and then the previous crashes and software issues I had before, but I actually really like this. Um, it's my daily driver for everything I do. I'm, I would probably say a moderate to probably more heavy user. Um, I use my phone almost all day. Um, usually when I get down to the end of the day, that my battery is uh, on on the empty side, almost out. Um, but thankfully I've charged it and kept it on, kept it on low use today um, but so there you go guys just a quick review of my phone um, I really like it I mean, it may not be the fastest snappiest more up, most up to date phone but it has improved over time and to a point where I can actually recommend it to people um, so if you're looking for a phone that's a little bit cheaper on T-Mobile go check it out um, and thanks for watching guys, um, be sure to like, subscribe, thumbs, uh, thumbs up this video, thumbs down this video, um, whatever you feel like doing, but do something because it really helps me in getting popularity in YouTube because it's kind of something I like to do is be popular like guys like Soldier Knows Best and Ty's iPhone Help and those guys, but I know I probably won't get to that exact caliber one day, but you know, guy always, ha guy always has to dream, so. But thanks for watching, but like, subscribe, like I said before, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.